What's up, RHF? This is Skeet Zach. Got up the phone with Jesse a little bit ago. I was reading John's thread online about you know sneak peek. Um, some of the things he's got coming up this week, and one of the things is the American Made Who Go Home. I got this in the mail yesterday, and uh, what was inside of it was this. The first American Made Who Go Home. Looks a little different from the last model, the original model. Uh, a couple things have changed. One, it's now made in America. Two, it is now made on a CNC routing machine. And three, it is now made of poplar wood instead of the acai wood. Um, this thing is made with precision. This thing is made exactly how it was engineered. This thing fits exactly how it was intended to fit. Um, the last one had a little bit of some hand tooling done to it. And this one, because of being made 100% by machine, it's 100% reliable every time you get the perfect fit. Uh, fits together like a puzzle, a little bit on top here. Take out the pins, I'll show you this. You all know the collar, the collar spins so that way you can fit any hookah and the legs uh, hold it to any height. This piece is actually snapping in to the top when it's on the top tier only. It'll snap in, snap out. If you understand the physics that are going on inside of this thing, the flex from the legs is creating an outward force which holds up this top tier. Well, you know that when it's at the highest, it's got the least amount of force, so it's actually at its weakest. Well, it's actually when everybody's using these, is on the KMs, they're using it on the top tier. So we took your guys' feedback, um, did a little bit of brainstorming, this is what we came up with. This piece right here, the collar, fits in right here and it snaps in place real gently snaps right in there this piece supplements the outward force forcing these legs out even more firm giving it that loctite fit you can shake this thing you can rattle it you know do whatever you want it's going to stay together for ultimate stability this thing is very secure it's going to keep your hookah Standing up straight forever. Slide this in exactly like this. And you don't have to take this apart every time. You can do it just like that. You can slide it in, slide it right out. You know, go clean it, dump out your water, come right back. You don't have to fiddle with it. You can take this thing in the car, just set it in the back seat. That's what I do. Just don't even take it apart at all. It's gonna be at its strongest when all the pieces are together, pushing and pulling on each other the way they were designed. Um, still does exactly the same thing. And do this tip test. You can hit it either way. Hit, just hit the bottom, hit the top. Shake the table. The hookah's going to stay standing up forever. John's going to get these at the end of the week. He made a really big order and we really appreciate him. It helped us out a lot. It's going to get the ball rolling for this project. Um, get a hold of him. Everything's got its pros and cons. We decided to make these things in America. Um, one, because it's better, because it's a higher quality product, because there was some hand tooling done on the last ones and it left some variations and it just wasn't really the, the best it could be. Now these are the best that I, I can imagine. Um, they're great, they're sturdy, they're strong. Um, Jesse and I were on the phone talking about you know, the economy, the way things are, and we were talking about if this is an American idea, why is it not an American made product? sold in America, made in America, born in America. So that's what it is now. So we hope that you guys can appreciate that. Um, there are some, some factors that come into making things in America. Things in America are not cheap. They're not as cheap as they are in other countries. So there is going to be a small uh, significance in price. Um, we hope you guys stand by that, being that it was, it was kind of a moral choice and a logistical choice. So. Go to John, hookahjohn.com. I thank you guys. I just want to make this video in response to maybe answer some of your questions, give you guys a little look up close before I actually make the uh, video that I'm going to make here at the end of the week, kind of explaining and doing the whole overview thing like I did the first time. Wanted to just let you know. Thanks a lot.